UNICEF is a leader in healthcare, research, and academic excellence. Consistent with that leadership is our commitment to the environment. We have aggressive sustainability goals concerning carbon emissions, waste, water, toxics, and sustainable food, and we're working very hard to make these goals a reality. One of our goals is to be zero waste by 2020. That means that we must recycle, compost, or reuse everything. A key to reaching this ambitious goal is helping staff and students learn what can be recycled and what can be composted. In addition to reducing the waste you produce, it is vital to the success of the program that you place materials in the correct container. When recycling or compost is contaminated, it can mean the entire load will need to be sent to the landfill. When UCSF's recycling program began in 1998, only 7% of the material we discarded was recycled. Back then, 93% of what UCSF tossed was thrown away. There is a fundamental problem with saying you're going to throw something away. There is no away. Consider that landfills only have limited amounts of space and it becomes increasingly expensive to site new landfills. Landfills and incinerators put a strain on human and environmental health. Our planet only has a limited amount of the resources we use to make things. Continuing to create waste is simply not sustainable. Where does all of UCSF's garbage go? UCSF has a contract with Recology, a San Francisco-based recycling, compost, and garbage company. Recology transports UCSF's garbage to a landfill in Livermore, California. What should I do with juice cartons and soy milk containers? You're actually referring to two different types of containers. One container type, soy milk containers that are sold unrefrigerated before they're opened, are called aseptic packages. These contain multiple layers of different materials, which makes them difficult to recycle. So unfortunately, these go in the garbage. A different type of container, the standard milk or orange juice carton, is the kind you'll find in the refrigerated section at the store. These go into your compost bin. If there's a plastic spout, please remove it before you compost the container. What bin should I put gloves in? What about diapers? Gloves and diapers always go into the garbage. Although we still send some materials to the landfill, we've made impressive gains. As of July 2011, UCSF reached a diversion rate of 61%. This means that of all the materials we discarded, 61% were reused, composted, or recycled. Recycling is a process that allows us to recover the materials from one product and put them to use in another. This is more sustainable than extracting virgin resources from the earth. Why do we put paper in the recycling bin with bottles and cans? UCSF participates in Recology's single stream recycling program. Standard recyclables are gathered together and then sorted at a sophisticated materials recovery facility in San Francisco. What should I do with special materials, like batteries, toner cartridges, or light bulbs? Some materials are recyclable, but require special handling. Is this where I drop off the toner cartridges? Yes. Batteries and toner cartridges can be dropped off at specific UCSF locations. Burned out fluorescent tubes are handled by UCSF building maintenance staff and taken to a mercury recovery facility. Users of compact fluorescent light bulbs must take them to a hardware store that accepts them. There is no charge. Incandescent or halogen light bulbs go into the garbage. Please visit our website for more information. I know the aluminum can goes into the recycling, but how important is it to bother with foil? 
Recycling all aluminum helps prevent the negative impacts of mining. It's fine if a small bit of food remains on the foil. Please crumple the foil into a ball so it doesn't blow away easily. What do I do with cardboard boxes? Please break down cardboard boxes and place the flattened cardboard against a recycling bin. When anything derived from a living organism goes to a landfill, it releases methane gas as it decomposes. Methane gas is a highly potent greenhouse gas, which makes it a real threat to global climate stability. On the other hand, when you compost organic matter, you end up with a product that's beneficial to the land. I'm used to recycling, but compost is messy. Why is it important? If you participate in composting, you're helping to increase the fertility of the soil at local farms, and you're helping these farms conserve water. It's an inconvenient truth that compost can get messy and smelly. But materials that can be composted make up a significant portion of what UCSF discards. All UCSF designated compost collection points are serviced nightly to avoid odor problems. What am I supposed to do with my coffee cup? First, the plastic lid goes into any UCSF recycling bin. Second, the protective paper sleeve can either be reused yourself or leave it on the cup and place both products into the compost. Repeat, compost, not the recycling bin. Because it's had a beverage in it, this is not suitable for recycling. As a courtesy to UCSF custodians, please be sure you finish your drink or pour any remaining liquid down the drain before composting your cup. Or bring your own reusable cup or thermos. The Moffitt Cafeteria and participating cafes at UCSF offer a discount when you bring your own. Why can't I place paper cups or other food waste in the paper towel compost bin in the restroom? Food waste is not allowed in the restroom paper towel compost bins to avoid odor problems. How come there isn't a compost bin everywhere you find a garbage and recycling bin? It's simply not feasible to have compost bins everywhere. You'll find them in strategic locations. Our students love pizza but the pizza boxes are too big for the compost bin. What do we do? Oversized pizza boxes should be placed neatly next to your compost bin. Be sure to remove the little plastic tent and place it in the recycling before composting your pizza box. With attention to details like these, we can compost and recycle even more. Actually, we must. UCSF is required to meet the statewide UC goal of producing zero waste by 2020. That's sooner than you think. To get to zero waste, we all need to place our materials in the appropriate receptacles. We're not asking you to have precision like a basketball star shooter, but please, before you toss, get it into the right bin. Waste reduction is a key component of our Living Green strategy at UCSF. By incorporating recycling and composting into your daily routine, you could help protect the long-term health of not only the campus, but San Francisco, California, and the planet. Thank you for learning how to sort your waste. Just remember, if it came from a plant, tree, or animal, compost it. By doing your part, you're helping UCSF become more sustainable.